At the beginning of the movie, we are introduced to a mercenary named Robert Keel, or often called Fang. He is also a former Special Forces officer, who is respected for having many services during his service. Fang and his team are now on a ship to carry out a new mission. His brother Pyotr then explains their mission, which is to rescue Eliza Mazur, a girl kidnapped by a warlord named General Yusuf. Pyotr didn't tell them who had assigned them this mission. Later that night, Fang and the team set off for the rescue site, where they are surprised by the body of a man who turns out to be their guide. Next to his body was a doll containing a bomb. Fortunately, they were not got that trapped. Not long after, there was a girl who lived in the area. She was also willing to show Fang and company the way. When they arrived at the location, they immediately launched a brutal attack and fighting with General Yusuf's men. When the enemy was defeated, Fang found Eliza. But unfortunately, the woman stuck a knife in the neck of Fang's men. She thought that Fang was a bad guy. After being explained, Eliza finally released her men. Then Fang asked for data containing evidence of General Yusuf's crimes. Here it was revealed that Fang's main mission was to retrieve the evidence. After Eliza handed over the evidence, Fang immediately let her out. But when they were to leave the location, suddenly there was a blind attack from unknown people. As a result, Fang and his team were forced to slaughter them. Surprisingly, these brutal people move like uncontrolled trans people. They moved without a mind. After slaughtering them, Fang chose to split up with his team so that they wouldn't be surrounded like before. He would go towards the forest along with Eliza and also harbor one of his team members. Inside the forest, they saw a strange weapon that emitted light and smoke. Seeing that, Eliza persuaded Fang to destroy the weapon. However, Fang did not want to be rash. Then not long after, Pyotr called Fang to the previous location. Upon arrival, Pyotr suddenly attacked Fang. Fang also became confused why his brother was brutalized like those people earlier. Besides that, Pyotr also cannot be persuaded with words, until finally Fang was forced to kill his own brother. Apart from Pyotr, other members also got the same thing. Then it was revealed that the weapon that Fang saw earlier was a machine that could hypnotize people into violence and brutal uncontrolled, and it turns out that the one controlling the weapon is of course General Yusuf. As a result, the only remaining member of Fang is Harbor. Besides that, Eliza also came with him. The next morning, Fang contacted his friend Krizi Stoff, who was also a pilot and was willing to pick Fang up, even though he was at work. But for some reason, Eliza decided not to come along Fang. She said that she had a personal mission to complete. Therefore, Fang and Harbor immediately left the forest, but suddenly they were attacked again by General Yusuf's troops. Luckily, Krizistov was already there, but when the plane landed, they were surrounded by Interpol, so they couldn't escape anywhere. The Interpol then arrested Fang and Harbor for interrogation. Long story short, Fang was interrogated by an agent named Arthur. Directly, Arthur immediately discussed what happened last night. He actually wanted to ask for help from Fang, because he also found strange symptoms in some of their special forces. They used to be meritorious troops, but one day suddenly became brutal. Some of them even killed two parliamentarians. When the conversation was getting serious, suddenly the Minister of Defense entered the room. The minister's name was January. He then forced Arthur to release Fang, because this mercenary was already considered a war hero. Then Jan invited him to a meeting together. Jan finally admitted that he was the one who gave Pyotr the mission to retrieve evidence of General Yusuf's crimes. He also mourned and feels sorry about the death of Pyotr, Fang's brother. On the other hand, Arthur told his men to keep an eye on Fang and Jan's movements. Moments later, a meeting was held. Jan explained that the weapon used by General Yusuf was very dangerous. The name of the weapon was Soul Catcher. Just like its name, this weapon can capture souls. This weapon was created by Eliza's biological father named Professor Witold Mazur. According to Jan's explanation, Witold and General Yusuf have collaborated in using Soul Catcher to defeat the military. Therefore, Jan wanted to recruit Fang and his team to stop General Yusuf's actions. Without wasting time, Fang, Harbor, and Krizistov immediately recruited new members. 
they couldn't possibly carry out this tough mission with just the three of them. The first person they recruited was Pyotr's best friend, Burza, nicknamed Storm. At first, Burza was not allowed by his sister, Naka, but in the end, she still wanted to help Fang to avenge herself. After that, Burza also joined Fang and the others to meet their old friend named Bike, nicknamed Bull. He was a very brutal mercenary. Although now he has long hair and plays more with dogs than humans. At Bull's place, they all paid their last respects to Pyotr, then held a small party to release all the burdens before going on a tough mission. That night, Fang dreamed of her brother. He immediately felt guilty for killing him, even though he had to. The next day, Fang and the team met with Jan again to continue preparing for the mission. Jan also added one more member. He is Damien, a special forces expert in many military fields. Then Jan gave directions about the mission. On the mission, Fang and the team must be able to take the Soul Catcher and kill Witold so that no one else can create this dangerous weapon again. As for General Yusuf, Jan didn't really care. The general can be killed if Fang's team is cornered. Jan also told Fang that General Yusuf and Witold would be selling weapons. Therefore, the mission would start at the place of the transaction. Without wasting time, Fang and the team headed straight to the location of the transaction. Once there, Fang divided the tasks to his members, specifically for Burza of the Storm, she was tasked with taking down the guards on the hill. Meanwhile, Krizistov was to monitor the situation with a drone. Then Fang and Burza intercepted a truck carried by General Yusuf's men. They finished off the two men, then checked the contents of the truck. And it turns out that inside the truck are Eliza and a scientist named Louis, who is Witold's assistant. Eliza deliberately got into the truck so that she could infiltrate the transaction location. On the other hand, Damien and Bull secretly entered a tunnel directly connected to the transaction location. Meanwhile, Fang and Harbor finally agreed to cooperate with Eliza. She then disguised herself as General Yusuf's men, but just in case, Fang told Burza to stand by as a sniper. If he did not pass the inspection, then Burza had to finish off the portal guards. Luckily, Harbor managed to persuade the guards, so the truck was allowed to enter. At the same time, Bull and Damien found many rotting corpses in the tunnel. According to the information, these people were used to test the Soul Catcher weapon by General Yusuf, and now the weapon is damaged. However, Witold was unable to fix it. He also refused to work with General Yusuf anymore. Suddenly, General Yusuf beat him up. Coincidentally, Eliza and Louis had been brought into the place. Seeing her father being tortured, Eliza couldn't bear it. It was revealed that Witold was not actually evil. He was just being used by General Yusuf for his own interests. General Yusuf then ordered his men to drag Louis, and then the man shot Louis at the place of this murder. The action was a threat to get Witold to repair his weapon, so that General Yusuf could sell it to his upcoming client. General Yusuf will also force Eliza if Witold does not want to repair his weapon. As a result, Witold was forced to continue his request for fixed the weapon. While repairing, the weapon suddenly emitted a signal interference, making communication between Fang and his team become interrupted. Not long after, the client General Yusuf arrived with his entourage. He was an African mobster, let's call him African Warlord. He immediately made a transaction. Then Witold was told to try his weapons on the people who had been prepared. Even though the people were going crazy, African Warlord didn't seem to believe it. He suspected that they were all just acting and pretending. He wanted clear proof before buying the device. General Yusuf finally sacrificed one of his men to become food for the people. That way, the African Warlord will no longer hesitate. On the other hand, Bull and Damien return to move from below. They have also installed a bomb in the tunnel. Meanwhile, Fang and Harbor were still disguised as General Yusuf's troops. And outside the place, Burza is also prepared to shoot Withold according to the mission given by January. To make it easier for Burza, Fang finally finished off all of General Yusuf's men who were guarding Withold. Fang then pointed a gun at Withold. He asked why the scientist had made such a dangerous weapon. Withold replied that he didn't make it on purpose. He originally wanted to make a cancer cure device, but made a mistake. 
Then he was kidnapped by General Yusuf and has been used ever since. Hearing his explanation, Fang immediately saved Witold from being shot. Burza was confused by Fang's decision, but since there was no time to think, she had to follow Fang's instructions. After saving Witold, Fang finished off the guards and intended to take the scientist out of the place. On the other hand, Harbor is helping Eliza, who was almost raped by General Yusuf's men. Thanks to his help, General Yusuf's troops were killed instantly. Harbor then received instructions from Fang to immediately evacuate Eliza out of the place. A few moments later, General Yusuf and African warlord were to leave the place while carrying soul catcher weapons. When they had left, Bull took out the people who were affected by the soul catcher that General Yusuf was holding hostage before blowing up the place. Not long after, a bomb was detonated. At the same time, Burza was almost attacked by dozens of General Yusuf's men. Fortunately, Krizistov immediately dropped a bomb from a helicopter. As a result, the troops were killed instantly. On the other hand, Fang and the team were still struggling inside the building, especially Harbor and Eliza, who were still trapped with General Yusuf's men. Bull also helps them get out before the building collapses. Meanwhile, Fang confronted General Yusuf and the African warlord before his weapons were taken away. But suddenly, General Yusuf betrayed African warlord. He then fired the weapon at Fang, African warlord, and his entourage. As a result, they went crazy and attacked each other. After killing the African warlord, Fang went even crazier by killing General Yusuf's men, then hijacking one of their motorcycles. He immediately chased after General Yusuf. When he got close, Fang jumped into his car and immediately beat him up. Fang also let General Yusuf's car crash into a truck until it exploded and killed him. Not long after, Harbor and the others arrived there. Seeing Fang who was still violent, Eliza immediately calmed him down. She said that Fang could recover because the dose was small. After calming down, Fang told Eliza to go with Harbor to a safer place. Meanwhile, Fang and the rest will bring Witold to report to January. Long story short, in the evening Fang finally handed over Witold and his weapon to January however, he advised Jan not to kill him. Witold must be tried according to the applicable law. As for the weapon, Fang hopes that Jan can use it for the good of many people. But suddenly Jan ordered his men to point guns at Fang and his team. Jan turned out to have had evil intentions from the beginning. Jan wanted to control the weapon so he could rule the world. He also persuaded Fang to side with him, because he was the best soldier Poland had ever had. Then the situation gets intense when Agent Arter arrives with troops. He came to arrest Jan on charges of illegal military operations. Jan immediately mobilized his troops to attack Agent Arthur and his team. Fang and his team did not remain like a stone. They helped Arthur by slaughtering Jan's troops. Unfortunately, Jan's men even increased. Meanwhile, Fang and Arthur's team began to fall one by one and suffered severe injuries. Meanwhile, Krizistov was shot by Damien who had sided with Jan from the beginning. Because he was overwhelmed, Bull immediately took Wurzep to the car. He also invited Fang and Arthur to come to his hiding place. There Bull tries to treat Fang's severe injuries. But unfortunately, their place was already known by the enemy. As a result, they had to move again before Fang's condition worsened. Meanwhile, Bull chose not to go. He wanted to secure his dog first. Unfortunately, Bull was hit by a bomb blast. The next day, Fang woke up after being passed away and unconscious for a long time. He then met Arthur to find out what Jan's plan was. Arthur also said that Jan wanted to become a ruler by utilizing the soul catcher weapon. He even accused Arthur and Fang of being terrorists so that he would be considered a hero by the people. Fang then contacted Harbor and Eliza to join him at Arthur's place. Fang wanted to plan an attack on Jan and his army. Since that day, Fang started training again so that his physique would recover quickly. But for some reason it feels very heavy, especially since Fang keeps blaming himself for being deceived by January. Hearing his words, Eliza calmed Fang down. After that, Arthur called them because he had just received a message from Witold. 
The message was in the form of a book with special codes. Eliza immediately knew what her father meant. It turned out that the code was a coordinate point that directed them to Witold's location in a factory building. After finding out the location, Fang decided to go first. He would sneak there alone, then followed by the others. Before leaving, Fang had invited Burza, but she wouldn't go because her right arm was injured. She then begged Fang to avenge Damien for betraying her. Fang promised revenge for his team and wasted no time in leaving. Upon arrival, Fang simply walked into the security room and finished off the guards there. He then checked the surveillance cameras to find the room. On the way to his room, Fang was intercepted by Jan's troops, but he was able to slaughter them silently. After meeting with Withold, Fang then placed a bomb in the Soul Catcher weapon, but when he invited Withold to leave, Damien suddenly appeared and attacked them both. As a result, Withold was shot. As Fang faced Damien, Withold suddenly decided to sacrifice himself. Withold felt that he was already seriously injured. Instead of dying in vain, Withold finally took two grenades and went down to attack Jan's men. They were all killed by the grenade explosion. Hearing the bomb explosion, Damien was caught off guard. Fang immediately attacked him brutally and finally killed Damien with one shot. Fang then contacted Jan and threatened to blow up his gun. But Jan didn't care, because he is certain to win the election because people have considered him a hero. However, Jan did not know that all the conversations were recorded by Fang, so that Arthur and the Interpol team could hear it. That way Jan will certainly be in prison. Feng then felt weak and almost fainted because his blood was almost gone. Luckily, Harbor arrived on time and immediately took his home. At the end of the story, Jan's place explodes due to a bomb planted by Fang. Then the next day, Jan was demoted by students and people. Jan finally arrested by Arthur and his team. Meanwhile, Fang and the others returned to their respective families safely, and the movie was ended.